and doctors in segment this morning. We are all too familiar with the constant reminder about eating your fruits and vegetables, and we all know that it's for our own good as they contain important vitamins and minerals for a healthy body. Now, these antioxidant nutrients are believed to play a role in the prevention and treatment of a variety of chronic diseases, ranging from asthma to cardiovascular disease and cancer. But how do you know you have enough antioxidants in your body to protect you from such diseases? So this morning, we're featuring a new technology in measuring one's antioxidant level. And we spoke to Dr. Mark Bartlett, a senior director at Pharmanex, the company behind this technology. And that's actually the question that we've been asking for a long time. We uh, have lots of research that indicates that you need to have a diet that's rich in fruits and vegetables so you can get the antioxidants you need and provide the health benefits. But it's been very difficult to measure in the past. You've needed to provide blood samples or tissue samples, and that's not something most people like to do. What about different ages, different races, you know, things like that, male, female? Do all those uh, different factors equate into what you're determining as the sort of average range? Uh, we've, you know, that's a good question. There are people all over the world with varied diets, uh -huh. and you would kind of expect that in certain parts of the world people would be much healthier. But using the biophotonic technology, which really makes it much easier to measure antioxidants in the body, what we're finding is that nearly every country in the world, uh, the, the individuals there don't take the recommended uh, lots of fruits and vegetables in their diet. They're either too busy or, or for some reason they're just not doing it. Do you, would you say that younger people tend to have a higher level of antioxidants? Is that not the case? Or? No, it isn't actually. Um, young people generally, I guess, uh, are still used to rebelling from their parents. <laughs> no, they don't want to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. They'd rather right. eat fast foods, just like the rest of us. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. So, biophotonic um, equipment, this is what we're talking about, right? This is mm -hmm. what we're looking That's at. That's right. This is a total breakthrough. So, this is what measures the antioxidant level in each of everybody. Yes. And how do you use it? What should I do if I well, want to Well, you know place your hand in front of the blue light there. Okay. Now, this is a, uh, a light that is tuned to the frequency of these antioxidants that we get from the fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. that we eat. Mm -hmm. These colors in nature that are nature's own preservatives. And we literally are what we eat. Okay. When you eat those, they get into the cells of your body, and the biophotonic scanner can use the light to measure those very accurately. Okay. Okay. So I'm supposed to do this for a couple of minutes. And what's happening as I put my palm on this machine? Right, and the light is interacting with those uh, antioxidant molecules that you've obtained from your diet or from mm -hmm. supplementation, and it then can measure the reflected green light that comes back off those antioxidants. Okay, well, let's see what kind of results has Anne got. <laughs> Just how, how healthy are you? <laughs> well, uh, we want to kind of be in the, the blue or the green zone, which means right. that you eat a, a good diet. It also means that you're avoiding free radicals, which destroy antioxidants. So it means you're probably not a smoker, and that you have a good body weight, and that you are uh, really eating lots of fruits and vegetables. That's wonderful. Oh, that's mm. amazing. All that from just a little uh, palm test, so to yeah. speak, you know. But I'm curious, 36,000, you said, is above average. Mm -hmm. What is average, and what is the number that we're aiming for? Yeah, the, uh, the average that we're finding is really in the next color level down and sometimes even the, in, in the red because so many people smoke, so many people, in fact, the average person really only eats two or three servings of fruits and vegetables in, in the worldwide sense. I know in, in uh, Singapore, two or three is good because you have larger serving sizes, but, uh, but on average, you, you should be eating more than uh, just, you know, two cups of fruits and vegetables. Right. So, so I guess eating fried chicken, things like that, not really very good for the body in Those general? Those don't help. Not, <laughs> there are no antioxidants in the chicken. Okay. So besides, besides vegetables, I mean, what other sort of uh, food products that we have do contain antioxidants? Really, it's the fruits and vegetables are the major source. And, and measuring it and getting a number is an exciting thing for people. Uh, it's not just about the science, and mm -hmm. it's not just about finding out where you are, mm -hmm. but what we find is that most people know they should be eating lots of fruits right. and vegetables, but they're not doing it. And when people get the number like you just have, there's an emotional response that motivates people to improve. And that's what we're excited about. So what can I do to improve myself? 36,000, actually, what should my target What's be? What's the goal? Uh, I would, maybe if I were you, I'd try to get kind of into the green zone there, which would be around 40,000. 40, Seems to me that for you that would be very achievable, and you would probably receive long-term health benefits right. as a result. Is but, there, a, sorry, is mm -hmm. there such a thing as a max? Not really. Uh, we find people, people who are really serious about their diet, like serious vegetarians and vegans, can frequently score in the blue zone. Mm. And, and if those are the healthiest people on earth, then I would say 
Let's go for it. Let's try to be like those people and increase our score to that level. Blue zone is 50,000 and above. That's right. I see. Okay. okay. But I'm just thinking, how do I know on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm eating whether I've had enough? I mean, is there a way we can just gauge on a sort of a, you know, fairly a commonsensical kind of way? Really, uh, I don't know if enough is the right word. Mm -hmm. uh, sufficient, maybe. Um, if you're following recommendations that really are based on the science that we've been generating for the last couple of decades, mm -hmm. if you're eating somewhere between five and nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day, mm -hmm. then you can be satisfied that you're doing okay. the right thing. Okay. And if you're avoiding things like smoking, if you're keeping your body weight healthy, and, uh, mm -hmm. and maybe even exercising. Right. Mm -hmm. So 36,000, um, I'm curious how this actually works. Does it fluctuate a lot day-to-day -day basis or is it just mm -hmm. generally an assessment of your overall lifestyle? That's the really nice thing about this technology is it's actually measuring those antioxidants in the cell and it doesn't just get there overnight. This is the accumulation of habits that you've formed over the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. So if you just go on a crash, uh, crash food diet tonight and eat lots of carrots, you won't see a difference tomorrow. It's, it's the accumulation of healthy choices that you've made over a period of time. So how important is it really to sort of monitor your antioxidant level? I mean, uh, as, a, as a layman, just thinking, well, is it really harmful? Are there really any adverse consequences if I don't? Uh, maybe not. I think in the long term, it's about your health. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we would monitor it is to make sure that you are doing what you need to be doing. And secondly, to motivate you to change. And that's really the biggest thing. Everyone knows what they should be doing, but they're not doing it. So if you can have a tool like this that gives you a number and then something to work towards, changes your behavior, then that's really the thing that we're aiming for. And that was Dr. Mark Bartlett, Senior Director at the uh, Pharmanex, uh, Vice President of R&D, sharing with us the latest technology to scan antioxidant levels. But, you know, he says something that's very interesting. Yeah. There was a woman in Brazil who scored 100,000 over. I know, that's amazing. She must be eating nothing but vegetables. In fact, they say vegetarians are about 70,000, that is the range, yeah? Exactly. So has it spurred you on this uh, last weekend where you're eating more vegetables? I definitely was eating more fruit. Uh, okay, okay, okay there you that, go. But, so. wow, 30,000 is average, but you yet you have people scoring in the 100,000. Yeah, it's really about balanced diet. I mean, it's different for each person, but just remember, balance. Eat some fruit right. and vegetables with every meal. So don't despair. If your reading is mm. low, make sure you have your uh, servings every day, and you will see that score creeping up. Okay.